98.7 WFGR. That is Magic Carpet Ride. It is 747. How about a quick check of traffic, of traffic over there, Dave Cagley? Uh, looking okay on most of your major West Michigan roadways. The Ford 131, I-96, M6, and moderate heavy traffic flows continuing. Flooding still an issue. 196 east and westbound at Market Avenue. Uh, the off-ramps are closed uh, due to flooding. Uh, that uh, You can uh, look to detour around there. Police, I believe, are uh, directing traffic around those areas. Also, uh, as you travel 131 between 196 and Ann Street, uh, you do have lane restrictions as you travel northbound, that project ongoing for the next few weeks. So expect periods of stop and go traffic there. That's traffic on 98.7 WFGR. Look over next to you. It's Bing! I hey. love it when Bing How is you here. Doing, guys? Bing Goey from Eastern Floral and the Goey Center and all yes. that. I get an email last Friday <laughs> and it says, Hey, can Bing come in Monday? Yeah, you why even not? have to ask? Yeah. Well, doesn't he have his own card Bing. key? Bing. <laughs> he can come in anytime he wants. There you go. I had no idea what you were coming in for, but yes. there was an auspicious occasion this week. Well, that- there were two things. Yeah. Two things. All right. Let me take the one that's really important. Well, I understand that uh, you had some experience with flooding in your home just this a weekend. Touch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, just and, the know, whole basement. And and uh, yeah, you got you know this in ground swim. I mean indoor swim pool yeah. is really overrated. I thought it would be fun, you. but not I, so much. I thought you know it should enhance the value of the property. You, <laughs> you, know, you, you have an indoor pool now. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? Because of that. We decided that we're going to bring you some flowers for your wife because you know oh, what? You oh, have to make sure that although you have water in the uh, in the basement, yep. you now have enough water to water these flowers so you can exactly. keep them for a long time. Just float them along down the basement keep them in there, yeah. So that's <laughs> Live the forever. reason. One of the reasons why I came by just to make sure that your wife enjoys these flowers. Now let me ask you this: yeah. You don't happen to own a basement repair company somewhere too, do you? Um, no, because no. I try to stay away from that kind of work all Rats. the time. Yeah. <laughs> Say so you could take the flowers back and send a guy out with a trowel. That'd be great. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Bucket of mud and a shovel. <laughs> Start sealing up my basement. But nonetheless, well, enjoy them. We and will. And, Thank and, you. And, uh, you know, and, and uh, sympathy to your wife because yeah, really. that's a mess of things uh, to take care of. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Fortun- fortunately, she doesn't know how to run a vacuum. So uh, you guys want to hear something? That. We're downstairs on Saturday. The, okay, a couple years ago, we we got a vacuum and we had a little. Uh, one of the kids dropped some flour off a shelf. Mm-hmm. So she was going to vacuum up the flour. <laughs> Th- this last weekend, we're down in the basement. We're trying to get things washed, and we're running through the washer and the dryer and all this other kind of stuff. And she knows how to set the dryer to run for 40 minutes. Okay, and when I explained to her, I said, it's a little better to go for an hour because mm-hmm. you don't have to start the heating element right. twice. It's going to save you a little bit of money. It's going to get things dry all in one shot. She didn't know how to turn it up. She didn't know how to turn the timer up on the dryer. <laughs> How do I turn a vacuum? Up? Can't use a dryer. Uh, Tells you what my life's like, doesn't it? Uh, it's it's hard being the the woman in the relationship, <laughs> isn't it? Oh, that's I'm unfortunate. I'm not going to comment on that at all. <laughs> you know, is what it is. But the other reason. What is it? The other reason is that this week is Professional Administrative Assistant Week, and the day that we celebrate this. You guys should not laugh. We I'm not laughing. I think no. it's a great day. Yeah, I'd, I'd I liked it better I when it was called Secretary's Day, well, though. Well, that's only because you don't <laughs> know how to week. pronounce a professional administrative okay. assistant day. That's okay. all. <laughs> we needed to be more ver- more verbose in our yes. holiday. We needed to add more words to your profession. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Wednesday. Wednesday is the day, although, okay. although we are sending out a lot of flowers already today. Really? Because people like to enjoy them the whole weekend. Right. Yep. Uh, yep. You know, they can have it in front of them. And... For those of us who have those assistants keeping our lives straight, mm-hmm. uh, we kind of look good all yeah. week. Let me ask there you this. Yeah. How does it work out for you? What do you send when, uh, you, when you have I know. administrative? It's like, <laughs> it's like we know where you got these for free. Because... Yeah, what do you do? Well, yeah, how do you... well listen, they, they, you're making an assumption that I am important enough to have an assistant. Oh, I come don't. on. Really? No, I do all Bing. my own stuff. Bing. Uh, Seriously? Really? Yes. You don't no. have somebody you need to send flowers to? My wife. Of well, course. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but uh... <laughs> all right. Well, we'll take your word for yeah, it. Yeah, no. But uh, but these are this 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 is really a, a, a holiday that I think is worthy of remembering because you oh, know no what? question. You know what? Really, we can't do without these individuals who keep our schedules and tell us where to go and all those kinds of things. Wait a minute. You can. Yeah, you just say yeah. Yeah, you just said you could. <laughs> you don't use yeah. one. But that's because I'm not important. Okay, there oh, you go. Oh, come on. Okay. <laughs> All right, we'll stop razzing. <laughs> <laughs>
So uh, let's talk yeah. about some of the arrangements. Yeah. What's pretty popular this time of year for folks? You know, it's it's uh, you know uh, because because the uh, the desk of these individuals are, are sometimes you know pretty. Uh, limited in space. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We we have these little things like this, which you can see ha- has a lot of variety of different flowers. It smells that, that nice. Are, it's yeah. a nice arrangement. It is. I it's like very it. cool. What do you got there? Well, it's got hydrangeas in it. It's got uh, pericum uh, uh, in it. It's got uh, cymbidium orchids in it. And some beautiful uh, tropical greens in it. Oh, sweet. So, and these are uh, really cool. You know what people like. What what they like is something that's non-traditional, yeah. right? You know, not the usual carnations. It's mm-hmm. not the usual roses, and and um, you know, I'm I'm big. You know, as you know, I'm big in diversity stuff, right? Sure, I, sure. I think it's it's wonderful. But if you, and and flowers and floral arrangements are great uh, teaching tools for that, mm-hmm. because if you take a, I won't do the, <laughs> they won't take it out. But if you take an individual flower out, yep, it's a flower and it looks nice. But if you add other flowers to it, it enhances the richness and the beauty and the fabric of this whole thing. You know, I never it's stopped and thought about that. studio That's just, right. just, just over the last because 10 minutes. Because in and of itself, if you just have greens, yep. eh, you know. Yeah. But you put some flowers in it, different colors, different textures, different st- uh, shapes and sizes, it really adds to the beauty I, of the He's place. got a point there. Most definitely. I never stopped thought about that. And that's what happens when you do that with people. I couldn't agree more. There you go. Wow. That's right. That was I didn't realize there was a deeper meaning behind the uh, the arrangement. Well, that's that's why Bing's here. He thinks about it. He's a, <laughs> he's a big picture picture sort of. He's fella. a big picture guy. Yes. So with so we the, have all these wonderful gifts and the wonderful uh, options for people. Yep. And they can go on our website at easternfloral.com. Yep. And there's a lot of different options there. They can call our trained staff. This is one one of the things that's really uh, differentiates us from a lot of these big box. You I got to tell you something before you get store. into your story yeah. about the big box. Big, you know what? One time, I was kind of in a pinch for something from my mom. Yeah. So I called one of those 800 numbers to get flowers. Right. I was never more disappointed in an order in my life. It was what tiny. Happened? It was small. It was overpriced. Right. You know, it was cheap. It was chintzy. I, I didn't like it at all. I, I will call a local florist anytime from now on for anything. I there really will. I yeah, couldn't, I mean, I couldn't it, believe it. Well, I mean, part of it is because uh, those in those companies don't have uh, people who are trained to right. help you mm-hmm. identify flowers and meanings of flowers and those kinds of things. Whereas, yeah. you know, we we have all of our salespeople go through training sessions and stuff like that. So, yeah, you're right. I mean, I know it's self 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 serving, but you're ex- absolutely right. No, I've it's not at all. I mean, about it. I, mm-hmm. I just couldn't believe what yeah. they had sent me. Yeah. Yeah. I thought it was yeah. junk. Yeah. Buy local. There you go. That's exactly absolutely, right. absolutely. So, so anyways, those are the kinds of things that they can do for uh, Administrative Assistant Day. Okay. And, uh, you know, acknowledging their tremendous w- work and, and the importance that they uh, play in our uh, business lives. And, um, you know, it's, it's, it's a good time. It is a good time. Yeah. So mm-hmm. we have a lot of fun with it. And uh, sometimes we do fun things. And, yeah, you know, we don't always have to be this serious about stuff. Mm-hmm. So we, we can also bring, like, gourmet baskets, Ooh. you know. And, yeah, you know, we've got cheese and crackers. Now, we can't put a bottle of wine with it, but... I'm sure somebody can pick one up. Liquor store on every corner. (laughs) (laughs) Well, Bing, this looks fantastic, and you brought us some gift certificates to give away here, so we're going to do that. What's the number again for Eastern Floor? 949-2200. That's right, and we're warning you first this week, if you want a business out there and you're not up on the wheel on this, don't come crying to us at the end of the week when you're... Oh, of sorry, hands. payroll didn't get done. Whoops. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Get ta- your oh. flowers. Yeah. Hey, sorry, you. you're getting audited. <laughs> <laughs> we gave you the warning, didn't we? Oh, man. How's uh, prom season going for you? What are you doing it's with prom? Great. You know what? We are, uh, we, we are always very, very busy with proms. Uh, a lot mm. of the schools, uh, students are using Eastern Florida for their prom needs, and there are many, many different options there again. You know, remember the old days when, when we went to prom and we had to kind of figure out how to not prick our fingers oh, when yeah. we were pinning the corsage right. or the boutonniere on these things? We can use magnets now. Wow. We have found a way to use magnets so you don't have to worry about it. You don't ruin your, your coats, your dresses, your your fingers, your, you know, all those kinds of things. I mean, it's kind of, it's kind of tacky to have blood I right. I say, no, your, your motto is <laughs> no flesh wounds during there prom you season. Yeah. All right. You know you what go. I remember about prom? Trying oh. not to get caught with a beer in each pocket. <laughs> oh, yeah, there you go. Oh. 
<laughs> I was a I was a poster boy yeah. for yeah. great yeah. behavior. Yeah, there you go. And you know what we've done in Eastern Florida? Mm-hmm. This has been really this is really growing in uh, you know in, in, in uh, acceptance. Is that we have worked with schools yep. who are always trying to raise money to help mm-hmm. their yeah. students, right? So now what we've done with uh, the schools who are wanting to participate in our program is we return ten percent of the of the uh, purchases back to their senior night. Uh, oh, party. The party. The senior oh. bash night type yeah. party Very thing. Cool. Yeah, that's yeah. what they call it. Senior yeah. bash, isn't it? Right. Uh, yeah, I don't overnight, pro- whatever. Yeah. And when they talk about senior night, those senior bashes, it's because I'm 65 and they're going to talk about me. I have <laughs> yeah, no I idea. <laughs> <laughs> so. Bing, it's always good to see you. Give that number out one more time 949 2200 or go on our internet website. Yep. Easternfloral.com. That's right. It's Administrative nice. Professionals Week, as we call it. <clears throat> Secretary's <laughs> Week. Make sure you get those flowers ordered from Eastern Floral. Thanks, Bing. Thank you, guys. <laughs>